All right, here we go. Here we go. And we're back at the Stay On Point podcast. Got my beautiful co-host, Alejandra. Hello, everybody. And we got the amazing... Oh, man, I can't, where do I start with this guy right here, man? He's the amazing, relentless, passionate, driven S&P by Rob. Everybody give it up. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, man. They love you, Rob. They love you. Oh, I hear it. I, they love you. Hey, guys. Let's go, let's go. All right, everybody, come on, man. Damn, they love you that much. Rob, what's going on, man? So what's up, man? No, thank you guys again for inviting me. Yeah, I love it. I'll, this is an honor to be the number one person right now coming into your uh, your podcast. I love it. Thank you. Well, I'm Speechless. It's a pleasure having you, Rob, right thank here. You. Um, it, you know, like I said, we collaborate with all kinds of artists, and it's a pleasure having you in the building. You're actually the first artist. We we are collaborating with on this podcast. Oh, amazing! I love it. Yeah, that 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 right there. Let's go, let's go. So so we're breaking barriers right here in Los Angeles, right? We're breaking barriers and we're getting into it. Alejandra, what's up? Well, yeah, we're excited to have Rob here with us. Uh, we're want, we're gonna get to know him a little bit as an artist and as a person, and just you know, talk to us. We're gonna ask you questions, and <laughs> there you go. Yeah, we're gonna Thank grill you. him right now. <laughs> Rob, what's up, man? Talk to me. So, um, how, how's your whole, um, you know, your whole experience right now? Or, 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 or before we get into that, well, you know, where, where are you representing? What, what's the name of your clinic? Uh, where are you representing? What city are you from? So, I'm in the beautiful city of San Dimas. The business is S and P by Rob. It's got micropigmentation by Rob. I have to explain to people because they're like, "What is S and P?" And I mm. have to explain it, break it down. Yeah. And yeah, I've been there for a little bit over two years almost. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, yeah, I love it. It's just Changing people's lives every day, you know. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. I mean, for us to be in this industry, it's um, it's a privilege, mm -hmm. right? It's a privilege to be in this industry, right? Get, get into change people's lives every day. It's it's um, it's amazing. It's amazing. I absolutely love it. Awesome. How do you like it out there? It, you're in San Dimas. You're based in mm -hmm. San Dimas. So that's San LA Dimas. County. Yeah. LA County. Oh, let's go. <laughs> let's go. We in LA County. We making noise. West Coast. That's right. <laughs> How do you like it right there in San Dimas? It's nice. It's near my house. It's near my kids' school. Mm -hmm. So that's always a plus. You know, always want to be around family. And, and that's why I chose that particular spot because it's right between the 10 and the 210 off the 57. So. Oh, okay. Awesome. Yeah, you're nearby everything, right? Just in case there's a little emergency. God forbid. Yeah. But I'm just saying you're right there. You're one. Uh, mm -hmm. You could just drive up there real quick. That's that's awesome. Cool, cool, cool. You grew up in San Dimas or? No, originally from Long Beach. And Ooh, then <laughs> right there with Snoop. Snoop. <laughs> East side Long Beach. Don't want to say where I'm from. <laughs> oh, oh, not not gang, not the gang, Rob. Not the gang. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're not gonna get that 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 deep. And no, no. Oh, you're from, from Long Beach. From Long Beach, okay. yeah. That's what's from up. Long Beach. Grew up in the around Jordan High School, and then after I finished um, high school, I went to LBC for a little bit, mm. and then from there I said, you know what, I needed to go to trade school, so I okay. went into the medical field, and that's where I did about. 15, 16 years of uh, working in a hospital setting. Wow. As a surgical tech Woo. in the cosmetic. Hold on, hold on. Let me, <laughs> let me. I will not. Hold on, wrong button. Hold on. Let me give you. <laughs> let me give you a applause for that. That's amazing, right there. That's a very. That's a commitment. That's amazing in the medical field. In the medical field. Yeah, I applaud you for that, brother. All oh, right. thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, this thing is going. For, <laughs> they still love you, man. They still love you. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I love it. And so that's when I decided. You know what is. After so many years of being in the in the public, you know, helping everybody, helping all these people, um, I went into like uh, cosmetic and helping uh, plastic surgeons. Oh, and that's when I realized, you know, it's like they have they go to the hospital and then they go to the surgery center and they have a business. And so I started asking the doctors, like, oh, how do you make you know an extra amount? You know, the hospital sometimes doesn't pay well. You know, mm. oh, oh, I have my own set in here. Let me invite you. And then that's when I started looking into. It was like, you know what? Having a business, being a, an entrepreneur is very important, especially mm. here in the United States. You know, the United States is made for an entrepreneur, for to b business, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, especially uh, in California, everything is so high. Mm -hmm. I yeah. mean, it's hard to do it alone, just mm -hmm. with a regular nine to five. I mean, if you can, more power to you. But, so, you know, a lot of, fam lot of uh, you know, family, uh, a lot of people need a, need a side hustle just to survive in that land. Right, correct. Um, they need two incomes or, or, mm -hmm. or like I said, the, you know, the, the guy... You know, they they uh he works nine to five, and on the side of that, there's a side hustle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I get it, I get it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then that's where I met my wife in the hospital. Oh, uh, oh nice. not as a patient, but <laughs> as a patient. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm hurt. I'm hurt. <laughs> 
<laughs> Shout out to your wife, man. Shout yeah, wife. and then yeah. Uh, we, and then she decided, she said, you know what, I need to pursue my career more, and she became a nurse, mm. and then she's been doing it for about not five, six years. Hi, babe. <laughs> and shout out to you. <laughs> yeah. And then, um, yeah, so like I said, I moved my family to Azusa, and that's where we've been, God, how many years? Like 12 years, I want to say, around there. Oh, wow. Oh, have awesome. three beautiful kids. What's up, kids? <laughs> What's up? What's up, kiddos? <laughs> awesome. And uh, I got into Scout Micro because myself, I, I had to look for, I yeah. wanted to look for, uh, you know, an answer to yeah. be involved, you know? Mm-hmm. And so, you get a little close to the mic. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay. So you got S and P yourself. I got S and P myself. How did you hear about it? Uh, through Instagram mm-hmm. and my wife too. She was like, you know what? Oh, wow. Look at this. There's an option, and I actually did look in and got consultations for uh, hair transplants. Oh okay. And not only, obviously, they're very costly. There's downtime. Mm-hmm. There's medications involved. They have side effects. You know, like mental and physical side effects that I personally didn't want to go through. That yeah. I. You know, but shout out to the hair transplant community. Of course, of course. <laughs> shout out to y'all. We mm-hmm. love you guys. Like I say, if you're a candidate for a hair transplant, that's go right. Ahead. Go for you know, it. Shout out. <laughs> Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, yeah. So your wife told you she saw it too on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Were you like, oh, it's a tattoo, or what? What was your first thought? Were you interested, or were you like, I don't think so, or how did you take it? So with everything, I, I researched the you know the GVs out of it, um, and I started researching more. I started looking into it. And I saw that it wasn't so in- invasive, like mm. hair transplant. Again, not knocking the hair transplant doctors because I actually work with two uh, very nice hair transplant doctors, and they're very great. Nice. Shout uh, them out. What, what, what's, the, what's their names or what? So uh, Dr. Um, uh, Lawton Tang in Pasadena mm. and nice. Dr. Robert Milanis in uh, Mission Viejo. Nice. Shout, nice. Out guys. Shout out to you guys. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to you guys because they're changing lives every day as well. That's right. Right. They're changing lives every day as well. They're making a change. They're making an impact. Right. So hair transplants, like I said, they're like, if you're a candidate for it, Oh, for it, beautiful. All right, correct, yeah. correct. Uh-huh. And then started getting into myself, it, it looking into it, and finally, I, I just, I just went ahead and did it. And then my wife again, she was like, "Oh, you know, they're actually training. So why don't you do the training and be a model?" Mm-hmm. I reached out to the artist, and then the artist said, "Yeah, you know, we'll work something out." And I took the class, and uh, you know, I, and I was the who, model. Who was that, or what? This was Taylor Perry. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me give tell you, let me give him one of these. There you go. <laughs> Definitely a beast in the industry. <laughs> That's right. Shout out to Harry, <laughs> man. Okay, cool. Keep it going. Keep it going. Yeah, and um, and so yeah, I got my treatment and instant results. You know, yeah. That's what you saw I mean. It. You see it here with you, your clients. Instant result, and it's like, oh, I missed out. I should have done this long time ago. Long you know, that's what everybody ago. says. It's yeah. so cliche, awesome. but everybody says it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow, you were satisfied with your results. Your wife was satisfied. Everything. Mm-hmm. That's cool. And then that's when I said, you know what? I, I, now that I took took the course, now I have to do the, the next things, which is getting my license, oh, getting yeah. all these permits, and getting my spot. Again, my wife was like, get your spot now. So she's been a, a big push. Yeah. yeah, she's been cracking the whip, huh? <laughs> it sounds like somebody I know over there, man. You know, she, she got the whip, too. She be cracking this, man. Uh-huh. <laughs> Shout out to the wifey, man, for cracking yeah. the whip. No, 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 definitely your partner. You have to communicate with them. Um, they're the backbones, right? Correct. They're the backbones of the family. So yeah, appreciate all the wifeys, right? All the wifeys, put, you know. That's right. Just you know, <laughs> giving us the green light, telling us to go for it. That's right. What would what, you tell me the other podcast? What the, what, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting it? for? You do it. <laughs> do it. I'm like, all right, cool. All right, cool. So yeah, yeah. And so yeah, and then thank goodness, I've, like I said, I've been there almost two years now, and I love it. I love changing people's lives. I love seeing them, you know, mm-hmm. happy and yeah. like, oh, you got your hairline back. Yep. And yeah. then for density work as well for women, I, yeah. I just love you know they come in very um, insecure because of the you know the, the scalp see through yeah and then when they walk out after their sessions I, I love the you know the, the yeah the, the look in their face yeah they're <laughs> they're excited that's good your wife does your wife do S and P or no no she no? doesn't oh okay she doesn't yeah oh, how long have you been doing it for now going almost two years now two yeah. years yeah nice. oh, that's good and you have your own place you got your licenses everything licenses and you're permits set, set. you yeah. set awesome that's... yeah congratulations shout out let's let's get it that's how you do it that's, it. that's how you do it or, or should i do this one winning 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 <laughs> winning <laughs> rob is winning man <laughs> winning <laughs> i love it <laughs> all right cool yeah because i think i see uh man uh, i think taylor perry put out some more uh like advertisements for training mm-hmm 
And I saw your, uh, I saw you in the you video. Saw my mug. <laughs> I saw you, and I was like, "Who's that viejo right there?" <laughs> I was like, because you didn't have S&P right there. Uh, maybe it was before? It was before, before. picture? I think, before. It was, I, think, I think you were getting trained in okay. the video. Yeah, yeah. I was like. He looks familiar. He looks familiar. <laughs> Hell? I was like, that's Rob. And then <laughs> looking at you now. It looks good. Bro, you look like you're 21, bro. <laughs> yeah, your S&P looks really good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, your s and fire. Who did your S&P? So it was uh, Majestic, you know, his right-hand man. Oh, Majestic. Yeah. Hold on. Let me. Yep, yep. Another. Another one. <laughs> Shout out to Majestic. You know, when I first started, mm -hmm. I, I used to reach out to Majestic like on little DMs. Mm -hmm. Like, how do you do that? How do you do this? Mm -hmm. You know, because uh, shout out to Majestic. He always That's replied, right. show love. Mm -hmm. So shout out like to that. Majestic out That's there. Right. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, awesome. So then I, so that was my initial treatment was number one. And I went to another artist. Um, shout out to, uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> to. Uh, Forgot the name. Oh my gosh. He's an Oscar's friend. We were saying earlier. Oh, another beast. Oh um, my gosh. Uh, Oscar's boy Sergio. 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 Okay, I forget. Sergio. Hold on. Let me. Oh, apologies. Sergio's fire. And you know what? We're gonna get Sergio on this podcast as Hello. well, right? He's, he does S and P over there in Hollywood. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shout out to Sergio. Uh, Omic S and P. I, That's I believe right. Is, is his company's name. Yeah. And we're definitely gonna get him right here, and we're gonna grill him on this. Uh, the same way we're, we're talking to you. <laughs> I we're got gonna, a little tongue tie. Sorry, uh, Sergio. <laughs> no, nah, no. Sergio's another beast right there. We and we definitely see you doing work. So shout out That's to you, right. Sergio. Hell yeah. Very professional. I got my second treatment from him. Hold and, on, Sergio did. Let me yeah. see. Yeah. It looks good. Fire. Fire. Yeah, it looks fire. good. Fire, fire. He's doing something right. Fire. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, so then I started researching and I was and thinking, okay, you know what? How can I improve my skills? Mm -hmm. And the number one thing is like getting mentorship. Yeah. Yes, that's so when I reached point. out to uh, Jeff Picasso Ooh, and legend, he's like, legend. come in. He's like, come on in. Let me check out. Let's see what you're at. Let me see where mm -hmm. you're, you know, uh, you might need a little more mentorship mm -hmm. and he did and he saw my s &P. he's like i need to touch it up so he, he gave me the last third awesome. session awesome so. yeah you just been getting blessed by everybody <laughs> <Real? bro. laughs> you've been getting sprinkled like so like that like that <laughs> you're getting sprinkled by all the goats over here man <laughs> yeah, that's crazy that's what's up that's so, good so yeah it's just learning from everybody i i, I do i never stop learning you know yeah you can't watch, stop learning i watch your guys's videos yeah um like there's no tomorrow. I love researching mm -hmm. what, what else is coming on with, with the inks and the needles, you know, because yeah. you have to yeah. be on top of the game. You know? Shout out to Ghost. Yeah. That's right. Shout our, out. our inks that we use in house is Ghost, and we've we seen you using it as yeah, well. That's right. Yeah, you're using it. So, mm -hmm. so shout out to you too for using that Ghost, man. The retention is good. And, and you know what? I didn't even say it in the beginning. They're sponsoring this. Shout out to Ghost, one of our sponsors for the podcast. There Ghost go. Pigment. Let's get it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Yes, I was gonna say something right now. I forgot. Oh my bad. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, just just kind of talking about what we were mentioning. Just uh -huh. uh, getting out there, getting mentorship. That's very important. I mean, there's events all over, and I encourage anybody that's starting in S and P definitely reach out to your local artist. Like myself, I reached out to uh, Freddie, and I was like, hey, you know, I need to buy some ink. Can I come? Through? Mm -hmm. I'll be like, that was the first. That's two thousand dollars. <laughs> 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 I love it. I love it. But that's how you grow, you know. And this industry is so new. Yeah. Like microblading and PMU, all this. It started somehow, and this mm -hmm. is how it starts. You, know? you gotta have to network with, with different people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love how you guys my, a dynamic here. I felt like I was at my house. To be honest with you, I love it. <laughs> Thank you guys. No, no, yeah. Very uh, humble. You know? Yeah. And you hit the nail on the head. Um, you said you always have to be a student of the game, right? Mm -hmm. You always have to keep on learning you can't Correct. think you know it all right mm -hmm. um there's always artists out there you're like damn how is he doing that mm -hmm. you know everyone has their own style Correct. everyone does s&p differently like i said before there's a fundamental to doing s&p but at the, at the end of the day it's art mm -hmm. right and you could take this game so far correct from little i see i see some dudes doing like little baby strokes mm -hmm. not full strokes but like baby. doing their s&p and it looks Correct. it looks amazing i'm like yeah. whoa I was, I was like i thought this was just dots yeah yeah now they're just doing like little baby streaks mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. maybe they're working so fast and it's leaving the street but the street looks, it looks good it looks good How could we mix with dots and streaks together it looks it looks amazing right so that art yeah. artistic thing looks good mm -hmm. that's right that's right i'm i'm so excited about this industry i you know i don't want to start but like Amazing, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Changing people's lives, so that's that's what it's about. Yeah. Who who are uh, some of your um? Let me see. Uh, uh, artists that inspired you in the game. So definitely Taylor, Taylor. and then uh, a few guys in by the beach, and uh, of course East East Coast is where you know East Coast. Yeah, they got fire. Everything, mm -hmm. everything kind of you know migrated over yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. Overseas as well in England. I mean, all over the place. I mm -hmm. just everybody. I can't you know I can think of a few on top of my head, but. 
it's just been a collaboration of like how I, I tackle certain situations, especially alopecia clients. I think those are one oh, of the yeah. most difficult uh, clients to, you know, yeah. but they're doable. And um, yeah. It definitely yeah. require more sessions, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. You definitely. can't you can't just do it maybe two to three. It's, no, it's it's like this is about a freaking six session process, yeah. maybe, right? Maybe. Just to mm -hmm. just to make to see how it heals, mm -hmm. right? Just take the proper steps, right? You we don't because I mean it's uh it's alopecia, right? Mm -hmm. it's, it's different different texture. It's different, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, my alope my first alopecia patient, oh my goodness, it, yeah, it was like six sessions, and then he kept on losing hair. Oh. And then sometimes the hair will grow back, and I will tell him, you really? know what, when those cases, you just had to keep on shaving your head. Yes. Yeah. He wanted to do like a half, but I was like, no, He you was can't. trying to keep what he had? Basically, yeah. Usually, yeah. I mean, usually what we 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 tell him, you know, like, if we already know it, it, you're going to continue to get, you know, lose hair, mm -hmm. we were very honest, and we we're like, just shave it off. Yeah. Rocket left that rocket like that. Just let you know? it go. Just let it go. Let it go, you let know? It go. Because you're let gonna it continue go. to lose. <laughs> yeah, let it go. Yeah, just let it go. I mean, like you said, or else you're gonna have to cut back for more and more. Mm -hmm. That way we could go at it, you know, all at once, you know. Let mm -hmm. it go. See what it looks like. Correct, correct. Yeah. You come in with the Homer Simpson and they're like, I'm on density. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I like, no. Bro, you got like three strands. No, we got to let that go. Cut it Just off. And we let it go. It. Let it go. Mm -hmm. and see, I'm glad you were talking about that because you have to educate your clients. Yes. You have to, ed for, again, for this is for people that are just starting out. You have to educate them, you know, because explaining to them, doing half SMP and, you know, keeping your hair, is, is some areas it does, does look nice, uh -huh. but... If you're looking at somebody straight, yeah, or it, it it's gonna it's gonna be noticeable. Yeah, right it's now. gonna be much more noticeable. So if us as artists, if we already know you're gonna continue losing hair, mm -hmm. just let it go. You know, correct. I mean, it's gonna be hard for the client because they want to keep it. Mm -hmm. You know, they think they probably think S and P is gonna make it look even more better, but you're gonna continue to lose it. Correct. You know, if you're if it's already going that route. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah definitely educate the client and, and just be honest, you know, I could do it, but you got to let it go. Yeah. <laughs> let it go. <laughs> yeah. And then with and when, with women, um, when you when you do density fields, we could go a little darker, mm -hmm. right? right? With the density fields, but with the guys, because uh, we know women, they're not going to shave their head. Mm -hmm. No. Right? So we could go a little darker, you know, go a little darker with the tones to match that hair, uh, the hair, the hair length, mm -hmm. right? Um, but with guys, like young guys... Um, and they want density, and they want to go dark. I'm very transparent Ooh, with yeah. them. I'm very transparent mm -hmm. with them. I'm like, bro, okay, this is this is the thing. We could go dark, but you're so young, bro. Like yeah. in the future, it's if still, I ever decide yeah. to shave your head, it's gonna be a little darker up yeah. there. So th th these are things you have to think about, right? Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, we try to steer them the right way. You know. Yeah. So you still got time. You know. Let, you slow, slow down. <laughs> yeah. Slow down. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Rob. So what's up, man? Yes, sir. <laughs> so, what's up? What, what's on the agenda for uh, for today, or what? Um, today, I have a density client third session. Ooh, very a young a young guy hair transplant. Yeah. Um, oh. got FY. Um, I'm sorry, he got a um, oh my gosh, FUT, FUT, F -U -T, yeah. yeah, he did, and it was very noticeable. Mm -hmm. But on top, he's the hair transplant, excellent, excellent work. It's just the, the scar is what's very noticeable. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Scar. So, those scars are tricky. They are. You have to be very... Um, you got to be careful. Um, yeah. You don't want to go too dark Correct. on a scar. It's damaged skin. Yeah. Right? Those scars, it's damaged tissue. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you have to play it safe. Mm -hmm. um, go with a lighter tone, right? Go with a lighter tone start, on the scars. Start, yeah, start with the lighter tone and play it safe. See how it heals because you got to remember that's already a scar. It's going to heal different than your natural scalp, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's damaged skin, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So definitely, um, I say with those, with those, with those, uh, yeah, start off a little lighter, see how it heals, mm -hmm. check out the results, right? And if it matches, if, if it's good, then keep on going, right? A little more. Yeah. Um, but definitely play it safe with scars. Even, I mean, and be honest with the client, you know, let's play it safe because this, the skin, the scar is a different texture from your regular natural scalp. Let me see how it heals. Mm -hmm. Even if he tells you to go, you know, a little darker, be like, Let's, let's see how it heals. Let's see how the tone takes, you know? And you have to see what's around the scar as well, like his hair pattern. That right? Too. Because I like, I like when I do scars, I like shaving it completely off. I like doing all my treatments, shaving it completely off because I like fully blending Blend. everything out. A clear mm. canvas, yeah. Just blending everything out, right? Um, so you have to see their pattern. You have to see if it matches. Um, so so that's the way I like doing it. Unless they have longer hair and they're really committed to the long hair, mm -hmm. then you're like, okay, let, let, you know, you yeah, can yeah. go a little darker, but. And that's how this client that I have, he, he okay. wants to keep it long on top is nice and long and on the, on the back, 
um, he has like a little fade. Yeah. And I'm like, continue with that fade. It looks amazing. The cool. S&P is blending yeah. beautiful. Nice. And then I have another client. He doesn't want to do that. So I keep on telling him, look, you see the scar? You see this? That's how it's going to look. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. I could only do so much. Um, but I would suggest, you know, heading in that way. Maybe possibly shaving mm. a little bit yeah. higher. higher, Yeah. Like a different haircut. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is your uh, third session you're going to do on him? or So he's, yeah, third session. Oh, yeah. third session. What, what, um... I mean, what can you tell us what needle sizes you've been using? Yeah, so usually, <laughs> usually in the back, and then on top, I'm using from like 06, 08. Okay. And as I'm moving forward, 05, maybe 04. It's like uh, every every needle size you have is like a paintbrush. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, right. It's, it's like a paintbrush, and you know what? A wise man told me that. You know who told me that? Who? Yeah. The legend Picasso. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he told me. He told me. He's like, bro, just think of it as your paintbrushes. Yeah, that's that's good. <laughs> You're like. <laughs> and I was like, "Damn, he's right." Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So that's what we gotta think about it. Um, yeah, that's your. What's your favorite needle size or what? My favorite is 06. I Ooh, love 06. Yeah, that. I could go. Ooh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that 06 does work because it's not the biggest, it's not the thinnest, no. right? But it's right there in the middle, perfectly. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Correct. That perfectly. And I think uh, with the 06, at first when I first started, I, I used to use a lot of 08s. Mm -hmm. That's when I, was the same thing. When I first started, I used, I used to use 08 for everything. Mm. Um, because I, I honestly, you know, I thought that was that was the only needle they had, right? Oh, you, you weren't aware there was more needles. I wasn't aware, and um, as as I was uh. I, I was doing more research. I was like, hold on, what the hell? 06, 04? I was mm -hmm. like, uh, there's more needle sizes out here. <laughs> um, and yeah, so yeah, those needle sizes do work. I like, uh, what What brand do you like using or what? Uh, FYT. Yeah. Oh, FYT? FYT. FYT. Shout out FYT, right. man. Shout out That's the whole right. team at FYT. That's they definitely right. do a lot of work out there. <laughs> so 06, FYT, which one? The pink one or the green one? The pink one. The yeah, pink definitely one. The, the pink. The Apex. Apex. Shout out the Apex. Apex. Yeah, yeah, the Apex do work. I like those oh. too. Yeah, I tried so many needles. Spent so much money, and I narrowed it down to that. You know? To that oh, one? Yeah? To that yeah. one, for sure. Okay, cool. Awesome. Do and you then, still... T oh, I'm sorry to ahead. cut you off. No, no. Till this day, do you still practice on melons, or you're just... Oh, yeah. Yeah? I'm constantly practicing on melons. What I do is um, uh, I do my melons, and then I have... Now I bought the mannequin. Oh, yeah. I love the mannequin. Yeah? Now. It's like, you know, clean it up mm -hmm. and do my impressions, and then... And oh, another thing that I saw that I bought from Amazon is these little needles that are pins. Ooh. Oh my oh, goodness! Oh, I heard of that. Uh, yeah, I could go with you know if I'm on a trip or I'm yeah. or anywhere I'm at. Boom! I take it out in different colors, like red. Practice. Practice. Yeah. Yeah. And so I love those. Those things are amazing. Awesome. Constantly practicing, you know. That, that's groundbreaking right there, man. Actually, uh, practicing with you could put it on the tattoo pen. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, yeah, the tattoo pen, and and it's like. It's like doing dots, but with the with the pen, with the mm -hmm. pen, yeah, with the actual with ink, the sound, the everything's everything. there, everything, everything. Oh my goodness, yeah, and that's better for when we have students. You could, you know, we could train our students with that as well instead of just doing dots with the sharpie. Correct. Yeah, they you, could get a feel for it. They could just off the bat, boom, mm -hmm. here goes the pen, and then bam, you know, do yeah. you know, practice your your density or what? Do a first session, do a second session, and do a third session, all with that same pen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah, that's Correct. tight. That's dope. That's super dope. I like it. Yeah, and then the speed it varies from on the back. I'm usually depends. It, it all the you know again the um, what machine are you using the mast um, the mast machine? saber one is called I think it's called saber or some something like that saber yeah, yeah. okay very slick actually had it and I was gonna bring it <laughs> oh yeah 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 the, the mast man they're they're very man it seems like they're coming out with a new machine every week they're yeah all, all the time uh, I always, always see out it with, and I'm like I want that one I want to buy that one I want that one next you know I want all of them all you know I want to all test different out. colors too all, yeah their colors are dope mm -hmm. oh yeah, yeah I want the pink one yeah uh, like, want... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, yeah they're they're man they're innovative man they're innovative and they're, they're they they they're pushing they're pushing their, their machines oh, forward that's what i love about this industry it's always changing always yeah changing. something new all the time me personally i use the um the mast lancer lancer okay when i first started i used i used to use the uh the shot the cheyenne uh the hawk thunder mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i used to use the thunder and then from there um i think i got the apollo yeah the apollo um i like the apollo but apollo. It, it, it wasn't strong enough it didn't hit gotcha. it didn't hit you know um and it was wired too mm -hmm. um and then after that i think i, I went to the flux s mm -hmm. flux, yeah the yeah. flux s, that, and that that i put i put that baby to work i put that baby to work that <laughs> um but but um like for me for the way i hold it it was kind of cramping up my hand a little bit mm -hmm. because the grip was tailored gotcha right it was it was uh, not tailored um or, or taper it was tapered there you go tapered mm -hmm. tailored um yeah the grip was tapered um so i switched up to the to the uh uh, the mass machines mm -hmm. and they did work. Oh, there you go. I was like, damn, these mass machines hit. Yeah. I was like, they hit. You got to be kind of mm. careful. And then, um, cause, cause I, I tried it on one client, mm -hmm. right? I had, I had both machines, the, the flex S and I had the, the mass, uh, Lancer. And I did, I, I worked on the same client. 
Um, and I did a couple dots with the with the flux S, and I did a couple dots with the with the mast. Mm -hmm. um, and the flux S did work, mm -hmm. but but the um, the the dots I did with the mast lancer, it, then, it, it stuck. It, like I was like, what oh, the heck? heck? <laughs> I was like, damn. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no. But no, I, I mean, all, all machines are good out there. All machines is it's just really which one you feel comfortable with. Mm -hmm. um, because in, in certain situations, maybe the flux S might be a little better. You know, it might work out a little a little more than. Mm -hmm. um, than the Lancer because the Lancer does hit, it hits hard. It hits hard. So it just really depends. Uh, it's all under pressure too. Correct. Correct. Yeah. yeah. But shout out to all the machines out oh, there, yeah. man. They, they, uh, they definitely do work. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They all do work. Yeah. So what's up? <laughs> <laughs> what else, Rob? What else you want to, you want to, um, you want to talk to us about? No, just the, uh, again, I keep on saying the same thing, you know, just uh, people that just started. Why I'm so, you know, adamant about that is because, you know, when I continue this industry, like other industries like PMU, right, microblading, they're always innovating, they're always changing their thing, and they're always uh, educating themselves. You know, they have mm -hmm. all these big committees, big events, and I feel like that's where we need to take the industry, you know. Yeah. Have big sponsors like Ghost and FYT, you know, hey, shout out. And, yeah, uh, yeah. Sponsoring, making those things happen because that's yeah. how we push this thing forward and um, people will be talking about it, you know, barbers. I love yeah. it. I love how they incorporate it into barber shops as well. Oh yeah, the barbers. Yeah, there's a lot of barbers that do. I see, but they got talent. They got talent. Mm -hmm. Where do you Where do you feel this game is going? Uh, this This SAP industry. You think it's going to grow even more and more? Or? Oh yeah, I yeah. think so. I think it's going to be, you know, where where you go to the barber shop or a, you know where the ladies get their hair done. Oh, you know, a little sh a little sh scalp see through. Oh, it's going to be an extra service. Me. Extra yeah. service, correct. Extra service. Incorporating everything. I mean, I already heard of like hair transplant companies having their own S&P artists in-house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that you guys were talking about yeah. that a while in your last uh, podcast. Mm -hmm. That's where I see it, you know, growing in there, be, becoming like a common thing to say. You say oh, you got a little, little light up there. Oh, here, I can help you with that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. Or I know, you know, on point in Bellflower, go hit, you know, they're right there. Go get your uh, S&P done, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, it's just teaching and, and learning every yeah. day. I love it. I love it. Yeah, that's true. And and I agree with you what you say, you know, putting it out there, pushing, pushing, pushing it out there, um, like all those uh, events, the expos, mm -hmm. those, you know, you get to network. Yeah. You know, you get to meet a lot of people. Um, that's how we met a few people, right? Oh, yeah. You get, and it's fun. It's right. fun. When you get to learn, too, you get to network with different people. And you know you make new friends. Mm -hmm. You get um, to party with different with different yeah. S and P artists. Too. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that's fun. Hey, the S and P Expo was dope. Well, yeah. the well, the one we went to was the one in Phoenix, Phoenix, right? Phoenix. Yeah, Arizona, we went to yeah. the one in Phoenix S and P Expo. Uh, S and P Expo. I think. Um, yeah, Picasso uh, uh, threw, hosted that yeah. one. Yeah, mm -hmm. hosted that one. It, it was. It was. Cool. Did you go? No, I no? didn't. No. Oh, okay. Around that time, I think it, it was. So now, um, kind of going forward. Uh, like four months ago, I quit the hospital setting. Now it's all full time S and P, and I'm doing other projects in the oh, industry. No, let me give you a <laughs> yeah, congratulations, brother. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, that's amazing. That's nerve wracking, you know. I'm not gonna lie, nerve wracking, but at the same time, is like you know, connecting with you guys, yeah. connecting with a lot of artists, and and looking and see what else that we could do to um, push it forward. And along the way, projects might come up or not, you know. So I, I'm so excited. Yeah. Well, you, you you did it you did it organically, right? You waited till it was the right moment. Correct. You mm -hmm. still had your uh, you said sur 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 surgical tech, surgical, surgical tech. So yeah. you're you're still doing the surgical tech mm -hmm. stuff and um and the S P on the side. S P on the side, yeah. And uh, when you knew it was the right moment, that's when you that's, yeah decided to spread your wings mm -hmm. and uh yeah built, built a little nest egg and then going forward, you know yeah. And so <laughs> yeah, just I mean, there's different roads people take. That's the road we took, mm -hmm. right? We did everything orga organically. Mm -hmm. We started off a little slow. And when it was the right moment, you kind of feel like, oh, it's it's, it's time. It's, it's game time. Yeah. time. It's mm -hmm. game time. And, mm -hmm. uh, uh, but no, but we've seen other, uh, other, other people just go right into it. Mm -hmm. Oh, right away. Oh, yeah. 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 They go right into it. They yeah. go hard, full yeah. throttle, man, foot on their neck. neck like, bah, 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 bah. Yeah. And, and they do work too. Yeah. So it, it just, everyone has their own journey. Correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everyone has their own journey. And, um, yeah, just as long as, as long as you just, you're passionate about doing S&P. Yeah. And you're going to go far. Mm -hmm. You know, you're going to go far. Um, yeah. Another thing I, I wanted to talk to, um, you guys about and I've I've noticed is that you know especially for men men are very quiet about this then mm -hmm. I like it's not so I think you guys talked about this you know and that's why I wanted to bring it up as the uh, the like learning that you know you don't have to be all shy about you know your parents you don't mm -hmm. have to what's not taboo anymore I mean well like I said uh, we have the manliest mm -hmm. of men men coming come in, in yeah. mm -hmm. come in right they they 
they're freaking shredded like Hercules. Right. They're freaking shredded like the Hulk. Mm-hmm. They have all this. That's right. But they don't have this. Yeah. Right, mm-hmm. and then and then they want to come in. There's like something's off, and we have to match it. Correct. It's a combo, man. You got to be mm-hmm. shredded. You got to have this. That's you got to right. be shredded. You know, it's a combo. <laughs> you got to have both. It, it, it's it's a, it's a, yeah. It's it's um, it's I was gonna say triple threat, right? You have to have this, that, and the nice car. <laughs> <laughs> nice car. <laughs> it's a triple threat right and, there. And plus, we're in the winter time. This is the perfect time, guys, to get your Scott micro Perfect time. You don't perfect have to time. worry about the sun or anything. Nope. True, true, mm-hmm. true, true. Yeah, and it's tax season. That's right. There you go, guys. guys. It's tax season. And it's tax season. <laughs> I would do a cha-ching. I don't got a cha-ching, cha-ching. You know what I'm saying? But it's yeah, coming. Yeah. We have tax seasons here. But um, yeah, Rob, we enjoy having you here with us thank today. You. Thank you. Um, thank you for coming and saying yes to us. <laughs> And talking about, you know, your your life experience, how you started SP, who you are as a person. We appreciate that and um we hope to have you back soon. No, you guys have been very humble place, like I mentioned. It's like being in my house, you know. I love the environment. You guys should check them out. Bellflower on point. Thank you. Being at the house, uh all cheese cheese me on the with the tias and the tios right there. <laughs> Yeah, uh, <laughs> you're always welcome right here, Rob. Like I said, if you need yes. any help, you can reach out to me. Yes, if you sir. have a, if you have a question like before, yes, any mm-hmm. tips or anything like that that I could give you, I'm here for you. I'm one call away, oh, one text away. It. My and my doors are always open. Forever, forever. <laughs> All right, I just want to say thank you, thank you, Rob, for coming through. Any 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 last words? Any like yep. again, S and P by Rob on Instagram, right. and Instagram S and P by Rob, and phone number six two six three two five zero zero four zero, guys. There you go. Oh, hold on, hold on. One last thing. What kind of coffee do you drink, bro? Because you are relentless. <laughs> you are relentless. The dark, dry- just dark co- coffee. That's dark. It. Dark. 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 That's it. All right, just dark coffee. All right. There you go. All right, let's get it. Thank you. All right. <laughs>